Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Benny Don't Crazy Marcus back once again with a new crazy adventure. So let's go see what's happening in Benny Tom and what we can find on today's adventure. So where we are is just sort of down from Chicken Bridge. You've got the chicken restaurant up the end, Granny's Bakery, traditional sweet shop, gift shop, nail salon, which there are a lot of in Benidorm lately. Um, yeah, crazy. Then, of course, the most lied about shop ever, Super Yoro. Just be warned, not everything is actually a Yoro. Same with the Yoro shop, not everything is a Yoro. <coughs> but, ain't that, don't, that don't mean they are a good shop, they are quite useful for some things we do need um, the sort of railings we're using to hold the curtain up that we have in the background on live streams but from here then you've got like this sort of artwork on the wall Someone's dropped a basket full of oranges. They're all sort of rolling down the hill. Then you've got a beautiful lady there picking them up. Um, I'm trying to think, is that who done it? David Differento? Maybe. You never know. This bit here as well. This is actually a little bar, which I haven't seen open for quite a while. I think your entrance is there, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, you should love coming down this alleyway on the east scooters up, risen down the hill on them, then having a bike not mad at the end. Little sort of green grocer's bakery type shop there, if that's what you would call it. Panaderia Abril. Mm. And of course, across the road, the local butchers. Yeah. Pico, 1967. But I mainly did come to show you there is this place here, Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> Great place. Um, Drop a comment down below if you want us to actually try it one of the days. I think the sort of bubble tea is sort of based on like your Asian countries. So if I remember rightly, it's quite big in like China, Japan, them sort of countries. Quite like a nice sort of calling type drink from what I remember. So yeah, could be quite interesting actually. Then of course, the beautiful Hotel Maduro Centro, just sort of in front of us. Um, you can of course go up to the um, Rooftop bar in there. 
what you want to do if you want to go to the rooftop bar is straight from entering into reception, head to the main sort of lifts, press I believe floor 20 I think it is, yeah, floor 20, that takes you up in the lift. Now, um, if the bar is shut, not to worry, there's like a little area with a massive sort of window where you can actually see all that penny drum that offers some nice views. If the bar is open, that's better. They have the terrace area at the back. Just be warned though, it is quite expensive in that rooftop bar and they do tend to be quite a bit picky on who is actually allowed to go out with drinks and sit on the terrace. Um, yeah, but I know when we went with Top Notch and his wife, Top Notch did actually ask, are we allowed to take the drinks on the terrace? The answer was no. Weren't even that windy. Yet, here's the odd part. The odd part is other people went in that bar, ordered drinks, and had them out on the terrace. Funny that. Is it just because we were Brits or what? Like, did I think it's British or, oh, I don't know, reckless delinquents be allowed? Like, we're going to be out there smashing each other over the head with our pint glasses or something. Anyway. Finally, at the bottom of town, at the Plaza de Triangular. Now, it has changed over the years, this area, eh? Now, I honestly don't know how long I would go back here. I think it was maybe the last Christmas we were here in Benidorm on holiday. This bit used to just be a big path leading up into town or you had the road that way you had your road that way um, they had like a Christmas fairground top thing all the way down or arcade machines or rides for the kids um, a 4D cinema but mind you that's probably going back like 10 years five year if not not quite a way back so yeah and I mean that sort of time as well where when they started like redoing it making it a bit more pedestrianised making it into what it is now really a nice sort of pedestrianised area like you can sit under the oldest tree in Benidorm. Um, older than Dad, I reckon, that tree. Then again, you've got to remember, he is agent, guys. Three years... Three years old, those. Three-year-old tree. Jesus. Anyway, yeah. Lots of places to go for a drink or a meal. And, of course the beautiful open top tour bus coming down now. I'll try to get that on film to just uh, end the video for you. Still using the brilliant DJI Giz DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and there's the tour bus. Absolute brilliant if you are wanting to see different areas of Benny Tom. And anyway, guys, make sure to smash that like if you haven't already done so. Feel free to subscribe, it is free of course. Um, 
but also us. Feel free to support the channel, buy me a coffee link down below, as well as the book, Sun, Sun and Fiesta, your ultimate Benny Dom handbook. And to finally finish it off, it's another day in the office, it's another day in paradise.